we're going to do a demonstration on how to insert a nasogastric tube um, following policy and procedure. We're going to step by step. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to ensure that you have the following equipment and supplies available when performing the procedure. You will need the NG tube and the size as specified by your physician, a towel or linen saver, you need tape, a water-soluble lubricant, clean container with fresh water, a 60cc catheter tip syringe, your stethoscope, a cup of water with flexible straw, if the resident's cognitively and physically able to swallow, and personal protective equipment as needed. So once you've gathered all your equipment, you have the resident ready, you've explained to them what's going to go on, first thing we want to do is make sure that the resident is in the high fowler's position, sitting straight up. Then we want to take the NG tube and measure it for the appropriate length. And to measure it, you will go from the tip of the nose, you want to go to the ear. From the ear, you want to go to the middle sternum. Once you have that, you want to put a piece of tape on so you have the length of your NG tube measured. So from there, we will put on some clean gloves. As we put on the gloves, we will also take a towel and put it across the resident's chest. We got the towel across the resident's chest. After you have the resident that sitting up the towel in place, you've measured your NG tube already. Um, you want to tilt the, the resident's head back. Examine the nares, make sure there's not any blockage in one of the nares. Um, if there's blockage, you want to choose the one that, that's the clearest of the two nares. At that point, you need to make sure, check and see if it's a self-lubricating tube. If it's not self-lubricating, you'll need to get some <clears throat> lubricant and lubricate the end of the NG tube. At that point, you want to start inserting the NG tube in the nares to the point that you reach the nasopharynx. When you reach there, the resident may be gagging. It's okay if they gag. If it persists, you may want to examine the back of the throat for coiling. Sometimes as it goes through the nasopharynx, it'll coil in the back of the mouth. So you want to see if it's coiling. If it's coiling, pull it out a little bit and then reinsert to get it into the appropriate place. Once you determine the tube is not coiling, um, continue getting into the nasopharynx. After the tube is in the nasopharynx, you want to flex the resident's head toward their chest. At that point, take a moment, let the resident breathe, let the resident relax, get them to, to take a deep breath. And then you want to give them a cup of water. Um, if they're able to drink, um, then you can hold, this, hold the water, sir. And then, so you have them take a drink of water, when they take a drink of water, you want to insert the tube forward another three to five inches. Then stop, have them take another drink of water, insert the tube further, and continue with that procedure. Repeat that until you reach the markings on your tape. Once you reach the markings on your tape, that's how far you want to go. At that point, you want to stop. So once you've inserted it up to the mark on your tape, you want to check for placement. Before you attach it to the face, you want to check for placement. And it's best to have a couple of staff, a couple of nurses, or a couple of staff members helping you. So to check placement, what you'll do is you'll take a 60 cc syringe and you want to inject 10 cc's of air into the syringe. So we'll take 10 cc's, take your stethoscope, listen on the abdomen, insert, into the NG tube, push the air, check for placement. If you hear the bubbling in the abdomen, then you know you're in place. If you do not hear the air exchange, then you need to pull back out and readjust the tube to make sure we get it in the right location. After you've checked for placement, you want to take an alcohol, some type of skin prep, clean the nose off, Take the NG tube, secure it to the nose, secure it to the nose.
secure the NG tube to the nose. And then also you want to make sure the end's closed. And you take a pin and a piece of tape, and you, a safety pin, and you attach it to their clothing to cut down on the chance that it gets pulled out. So after you get all that done, you'll clean the resident up, wash your hands, clean your station up, and your NG tube is in. So after the NG tube in, then it's maintenance and watching the tube. So every time as a nurse you come into the room, you want to check the NG tube placement. Uh, again, you mark the tube earlier with the tape. You always want to make sure that that mark is still at the nares. If it's been pulled out, then you do not want to put anything into the NG tube until you check placement first. So again, the check placement, you take the air, take your stethoscope, put it over the abdomen, insert, listen for the air exchange. If the air exchange is good, then the tube is ready for replacement. Uh, cleaning the nares, you want to make sure that it remains clear. Um, you want to make sure the tape is on appropriately so it's not sliding off. And you want to make sure that the NG tubes always pinned to their clothes to make sure that it does not fall out. Okay, we're demonstrating how to do a bolus feed in an NG tube. You want to make sure you've gathered all your equipment, your feeds, um, 60cc syringe, um, your stethoscope, um, your towel. So you come in, place the towel over the resident. We're going to first check placement of the NG tube. Um, again, checking placement, your stethoscope. On the abdomen, 10 cc's of air into the Jew tube, push it in, make sure you hear the air exchange. If your NG tube is in place, you want to put the syringe in the end of the NG tube. First you want to flush with water, um, 30 cc's of water to flush um, by gravity. Never, never force the, the flush or the feeding to go in. So let the 30 cc's of water go in and then your feeding again it's by gravity let the feeding go in let it go in at its rate again do not push um, the feeding in after your feeding is completing then you'll take another 30 cc's of water again with gravity let it flush and clean out the tube once your feeding is complete close the end of your feeding tube off Make sure it's pinned back to the resident's clothes and clean up your area and wash your hands. One thing you want to make sure at any point, if you're checking for placement and you see the NG tube has come out some, or if you check the air and you're not getting the air exchange, before you start giving the bolus or um, doing the flush, you want to, if the NG tube's come out, you have to reinsert. If it's pulled out just a little bit, you can reinsert it back into um, the nasal gastric. And again, check for placement. Always check for placement before you start putting anything into the NG tube. So those are the things you look for when you come in if you see it's come out a little bit. Just a reminder when you're doing the NG tube insertion to use good infection control procedures. Remember, wash your hands before with soap and water before you start the procedure. When you change out of dirty gloves, wash your hands again. And at the end, again, make sure you wash your hands using good infection control measures.